man who left tomato slices in a bucket for 10 days as the whole neighborhood jealous. With spring perpetually just around the corner, it's time to venture back into your yard, get your green thumb ready, and grow a season's worth of vegetables. But before you even think about the money, time, and energy it'll take to make your garden bloom again, consider this instead. As most gardeners know, tending to a tomato plant is usually a real pain. But as it turns out that ruby red vegetable is now easier to grow than ever before and when you see how to add one to your yard without breaking a sweat you'll have more tomatoes than you'll know what to do with whenever spring rolls around many people like to finally tackle all the landscaping work they were planning over the winter and that often means tending to their vegetable gardens growing produce is a great way to save money and eat organically after all one of the most popular vegetables to grow in a garden is tomatoes however they have a tendency to be somewhat fickle while they sprout and sometimes they can require much more work than the rest of the plants that is until now there's a nifty little trick that makes growing tomatoes cheap and easy and it requires hardly any effort on your part all you need is a bucket tomatoes and fresh potting soil healthy soil is the most important ingredient in this process the first thing you need to do is put the soil into your bucket. You don't need a large container, a medium sized pot will do just fine. You just want to make sure there's enough space to leave a few inches around each vegetable. Next, take one of your tomatoes, the riper it is, the better it will be to use, and cut it into slices that are roughly a quarter of an inch thick. You don't want them so thin that they're flimsy, but if they're too thick, all the seeds won't properly reach the soil. Another thing to keep in mind when you're choosing which tomato to use to place in the soil is the amount of seeds in each of the slices some tomatoes have more seeds than others so you'll want to use a tomato that's seed heavy now that you have your tomato cut carefully place the slices on top of the soil the most important thing to do here is leave at least a couple inches of space around each slice overcrowding will cause problems while the seedlings grow after you've carefully positioned all the tomato slices onto the soil take more of the topsoil in your hands and cover the layer of tomatoes with it you only want the slices to be covered by about half an inch so don't just dump a pile on top of them now gently pat down the topsoil so that you even out the entire surface layer it should be flat on top and not bumpy and rippled if the dirt isn't distributed properly some of the tomato seedlings won't grow correctly if at all sounds super simple right it's amazing that he managed to get such healthy sprouts in only two weeks and with such little effort. Share this awesome trick with your friends below.